I would say the Rangers go into the game um, at the weekend in a far more optimistic frame of mind than they did last season. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the, the, the players themselves handle um, the challenge of of playing against the best team in the country um, in, in a semi-final. I think that's the big thing for Rangers. I think if Celtic turn up, the real Celtic, then they'll beat Rangers. You know, I don't, I, I don't think Rangers are, are good enough. If, if Celtic don't turn up and play, yeah, Rangers could beat them. That's another argument. I don't know why Chris Gomez doesn't play every game. If he's on the bench, if he's fitting off for the bench, he's fitting off. There's no way he cannot play at the weekend. Stop. Yeah. God, if he's fit, he's the best player they've got. I don't understand why Ronnie won't play him. So I don't know how the pitch is going to be. It's going to be a big debate. Mark Robert, the Rangers manager, has already says he can't understand. I don't know how, how a pitch can be laid in time before days' notice. I just don't understand. It was all right the last time we played on it when I was involved. That was five years ago, right? Enough. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen the pitch by all accounts. It's in poor state. So um, um, I'm sure as soon as we go on it, um, <laughs> we'll find out. It doesn't help. I mean, it doesn't help. But uh, I think more than anything else, let's look forward to the game. It brings the profile back to Scottish football again. And uh, I think that's, you know, the biggest aspect of it. So I think Celtic have, have had um, a problem uh, with, with even their, their own motivation in terms of, of going into games. I think that's a, a big, big thing. Um, you know, they don't, they've not had a circumstance where they've had Rangers on their coattails for, for most of the time. It doesn't matter what anybody says. When I was Rangers manager, you're motivated by Celtic. And that, that's what you are. And I would imagine Celtic managers would feel exactly the same. Ali McCoy never had the opportunity to manage Rangers in the manner that I did. Um, and uh, in the manner which maybe Graeme Soonis and others that, that he worked with, um, that he never got that opportunity. So um, I would hope that, uh, that people would um, appreciate that aspect of it. And I, I don't see any reason why he uh, shouldn't be welcome back when we consider that, you know, four years ago, the, the club were at its lowest level ever. We were nearly starting a season. Uh, we were five days away from starting a season with only five players. Uh, no Rangers manager has ever been in that circumstance before. You know, there was no necessity for Rangers to be put down into the third division. Um, and um, I think that's the thing that, that, uh, that I'll... Um, that'll always stay in Scottish football, I think there'll be a bitterness um, in the Rangers ranks that that's happened. That'll be a massive motivation for the club. It would be for me um, that that's happened. And um, there's no doubt that it was the wrong move in my eyes. Scottish football's been worse off. So, uh, and a lot of the teams who were happy to see Rangers going down there have suffered, found themselves relegated or in the process of being relegated. Um, so uh, there'll be that, uh, there'll be that bitterness.